Yes, I'm everybody. My name is Tesfaye on show. Um, I want to present you with this uh, study method which I developed over um, over a years ago. Initially, I developed this course for my students, uh, and after many years, uh, when I see this back. I thought this is also useful for any person who want to study. Um, that time when I prepared this, um, there was no YouTube. So now there is a technology to share this to everybody uh, that may need. Um, this is, this study skill is very important for anybody who is thinking to study to achieve better for university, high school students, and for any person who try to comprehend and remember uh, the content in a, in a given uh, ma uh, material, academic or uh, otherwise. So in this study um, uh, method, I'm going to present you uh, with um, this outline. There are four sections, uh, I call them sections, could be anything. Uh, and this, uh, I'm going to go bring you uh, to uh, the mental process, thinking and the mental processes. Uh, this is very important a part of uh, this um, video because a mental process and thinking and mental process are the way we study and process information and also uh, remember that information so we're gonna go on see what are the mental processes we have and the sort of thinking thinking levels we have as a person as a human being and second uh, we go on how we memorize what are the memories we have in our mind in our mental processes what are the short and uh, long memories which, which are classified like that. We will see those as well. These are very important uh, topic as well in the study skills. Then we go to uh, note, note taking and uh, organizing our notes. Um, reading books, uh, materials, lecture notes, um, articles, and so on and so on. And then how we organize those notes how we take and organize those notes. This is where actually the effective study, studying method is presented. Uh, and the last one is uh, studying the notes and sitting for exams, preparing for exams, and how we, we do that uh, 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 for those who take exams, for students especially. So uh, this video has around uh, this this uh, study method around has uh, has around sixty to seventy slides and to um, four sections and each section has uh, um, uh, more than one video one video presentation because I can't present all of them at once so I will divide sections into videos and then present to you uh, in 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 all or after on all, all presentation after all presentation I'll, I'll give you um, I'll present to you uh, a reference materials where this uh, study method are taken and uh, you can go to the books and uh, see and read more um, this is a very professional uh, study skills uh, that I'm very helpful for for everybody. Um, then let's go ahead. So study skills. Uh, we don't have to uh, say this, but it, study skills is very important for students. Students sitting in the class and they're thinking they're gonna be successful is it's a wrong idea because uh, the, the the content we consume in high school and in universities is so vast wide 
and they're also complex. So sitting only in the lecture hall doesn't help to pass. So it's very important that this notice, this lecture notice, this books, all should be organized and, uh, and studied in a very systematical way. Otherwise, it's really hard to remember any of them. That is one. The other one is, and the study show that studying can increase our uh, achievement by 30 to 40 percent. That is, uh, may not be proved, but intelligence and uh, natural ability is 50 to 60 percent, and the chances and the environmental factors 10 to 15 percent. Our target is how we can add industry, effort, and the study methods contribute to 30 to 40 percent of our result or our achievement in exams. The view is that if we study systematically, we can increase our result at least by 30%. So studying um, um, uh, study method, knowing study method or understanding study method, systematic study method is um, very important. Um, <clears throat> is that? And um, as we know, the study skills involves uh, processes, mental processes, and this is what I said on the or on the on the introduction. So the mental processes and also the way we organize our notes. The way we organize our notes actually affect is how we think, how we remember. That is where we, we, we deal with organizing our notes and the way we organize our thought as well. Is the way we think and the way, the way we remember. So uh, it at least involves, according to this, uh, this, this people, Longman and at uh, Atikson. The studying involves thinking and organization, and these are uh, the way we actually communicate with people. The way we communicate our thoughts, our ideas, our beliefs. So we think that thinking can be affected the way we organize the information. If you don't have any organized information. Our thinking is very much limited. It is just like going to a library and finding a book. If the book is organized in some way, either alphabetically, either in subject subject matter wise, or either the code we or our artificially create and assign to the books, you can find the books easily. Let's say if the book is just food randomly in the room and somebody asks us to find that book one of the books then imagine how can we how far we can go to find the book we have to touch every and the single books in the on the floor or at least 50 percent of it or at least 25 percent of it but the way they are organized we go a specific shelf a specific part of the shelf and then we may only take two or three books to locate the book that we are looking for. So organizing our thoughts help the way we think and the way we think help the way we remember and the way we reply to uh, questions and exams and so on. So this is a very important area. So thinking and the mental processes have, have these all levels, recalling, translation, interpretation, application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. The way we the way they are arranged actually also shows how complex they are. They also uh, help um, they also show 
in some way our uh, uh, mental development as well recalling to evaluation if you took if you take the last three uh, or four or five even it's really hard for young children to to go through those processes or if they do they do uh, a poor analysis poor evaluation poor interpretation but they can easily remember factors and so on that's all what it is and that also goes with uh, the information processing if it is just a fact like numbers like just formulas we have to recall them we have to remember them if there are ideas involving uh, cause and effects uh, and things like this complex thought involving that we do the higher level thinking processes and the mental processes we will see this one by one um, in a few minutes but these are the things we need uh, we do while uh, doing uh, stuff and when we learn actually this uh, how uh, how curriculum is also uh, uh, developed through KG2 uh, universities or, or, or high level educations or contents also organized when freshman uh, joins university they, they start from uh, the general uh, um, academic staff and they move into very specialized where they do lots of evaluation synthesis uh, and, 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 and lots of applications so this is the mental and mental process levels of mental process very useful in understanding what in understanding how to study as well so let's 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 see this one by one at least what they refer to recalling is actually of like math statistical facts lines of poetry rules of grammar and 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 this is very easily uh, achieved by organizing those notes and only remembering is what is important here there's nothing we can do if we say the population of the world it is uh, six, uh, six, six um, billion for example we have to remember that it is six billion there's no way we analyze and get unless we have some more information to uh, supply to that translation is paraphrasing information saying in a different creating in a different form putting in a different form of uh, information presentations like creating chart diagrams and forming processes diagrams and uh, and then we remember that information the information we tell we don't exactly remember but we do some processes to remember that that is that that, that is um, how we remember, for example, let think of uh, hydrogen cycle. It's a whole complex water cycle that we remember with a small diagram. Uh, and how coffee or tea is made, we can put in a diagram and then remember those. Interpretation is now complex than the, the previous two. It's drawing analogies, analogies, comparing and contrasting constructive information looking for cause and uh, cause and effect relationships and then finding denotative and connotative meaning in language for example these are uh, the way we go deeper into in, into this uh, information processing and our thinking level is now deeper and complex than uh, the previous two so that's how we when we do those, we actually remember them. Uh, there's a saying that um, a much of um, much of the thing we do, we remember. That's what it is here. These are examples uh, of uh, like generalizations. And all birds lay eggs, like crocodiles lay eggs, and uh, therefore, can we say that? Let's in, in, in the way, or oh, they, yeah, the crocodiles also lay eggs, yeah, we can do the 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 conclusions like that 
and then we bring of other knowledge about crocodiles and then we make our conclusions so we compare and contrast yeah that, that similarity but there is another contrasting that that, that doesn't make birds and crocodiles the same category dolphin lives in water and has lungs fish lives in water and uh, do they do also have lungs Oh, no, this, this is matter. Poverty causes poverty. How can we analyze that? How can we say poverty? How can poverty causes itself? Is that a chain of poverty causing one the other? So it, it gives the mental process thinking. And then when we do those, we have a, we are creating a stable uh, thinking process, and we. Um, stabilize our thinking. We will come to that how we do those. Okay. And then the next level using memory app application is using a theory or formula that means application by itself. So, following direct directions, for example, or instructions to complete a task, or grouping or classifying information into different categories. And so on so we use the information we got through different means that's a high level it's not just knowing the information but it is using the information the field analysis this is a very um, higher level thinking process breaking down making conclusions forming similarities identifying factors from opinions very very much really really difficult facts and opinions are always confusing is that a fact or it is an, a person's opinion nowadays a lot of information flowing on me social media is that a fact or personal in, uh, opinion or actually it is, is it a fake news so it's it's, it's where we analyze information and uh, 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 um, use that information and identify logical sequences in all, all organizations but this is very much uh, um, applicable in logics for example in logical thinking and also identifying information gaps or mischiefs or deliberate lies deliberate uh, confusions and so on so that that that's um how we how we analyze information for example if a is equal to b b is equal to c and d is equal to a then what's the relationship between d and b so it's going back analyzing all those uh, uh, presentations so that we find out what um, we, we make conclusions uh, about the other uh, so analysis is a higher level even beyond analysis, now it's a, a, a the next two stages are tantalizing very high level uh, mental processes. Synthesis is now putting information together, drawing conclusions, summarizing, and the most important part is predicting outcomes. We analyze, we have the fact, we have the opinion, we uh, clearly identify. Uh, and the, 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 the baseline information, the, the correct information. Based on those information, can we predict the, the next event, the next stage of something? That is, um, that is synthesis. We conclude, summarize, and predict information. And evaluation, this is the highest level of thinking process or mental process evaluating something like internal consistency of a, a, a book a paper if if we are able to um, um, evaluate a book or um, a research paper we can find ah, that inconsistent with that previous uh, content or conclusions or statement or oh, that is um, uh, that is uh, not not that's contradicting the others that is not supportive to 
and so on. So we make decisions, we make judgment. This, these are all mental processes. The way we come through, as we've seen, is, is going from simple uh, to high level thinking. That thinking, that process will help us to study and also to um, analyze information, to store them, or we'll come to how we store information, and then we use those information. And whatever we did, whatever we do in these processes will help us to study and to learn more. Thank you very much. If you have um, questions and comments, please do below. There are more um, videos following. This is my first video, and I'll continue uh, posting on this. And I hope you follow uh, each one of them and you benefit from that. And this is the references I used uh, to write this uh, study uh, methods, study methods and the skills. So you can find those um, and uh, develop your uh, further if, uh, the way you study. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.